been the late great Chad Boston continues right here on Back to the Classic, the Cinematic Movie Podcast that takes you back to the iconic films of 20 years ago on the Apple Podcast, Spotify, Pandora, uh, damn, uh, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your podcast at, we're there right now. And also download your Beat Network app available right now. I'm your boy, Jan Lonzo. With me is my guy, Duval, to, to the left of me. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm in one of these boxes. I'm here, though. <laughs> what up, good brother? I'm good. Word, word, word. Now, this is a special episode because, well, obviously we're honoring Chad Bozeman all month. But this one is my man's from today's today's guest is my man's from way, way, way back. Like way, way, back. way, 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 way back before. Y'all go like y'all go back like babies and pacifiers. Y'all go back <laughs> like, like close to it. children, marriage, <laughs> ten toes in the sock. <laughs> yeah, All right, way, to way back before before driver's license. I got. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> But uh, uh, but he, he is a podcast host himself. I've been trying to get him on the show for the longest time. He's finally here on the special episode of the show. Make sure my man from the My Opinion, Not Yours podcast, Dwayne Walker. D. Walker. Dwayne, what's up, bro? Bro, that was a good interest, bro. I thought you was talking about somebody else for a minute. No, I was talking about <laughs> you, sir. I was looking for another he, box somewhere. He tends, to, he tends to put a lot of prestigiousness. Um, yeah, you know, uh, if I know you, right. you know, yeah, I was like, damn, they got another nigga on here. I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> what up with you, bro? No, thank you, man. I appreciate it, for sure. For sure. So, all right. So, to kick this joint off, um, we have had another podcast outside of our own on the show in a good little minute. So, my my opinion, not yours, podcast. Break it down for people. What is that? Uh, yeah, we call it the Money Podcast, M-O-N-Y, my opinion, not yours. Um, it just kind of just... Friends that have known each other, feel comfortable with each other. Um, we don't feel bad about telling each other our opinion. And if you wrong, like we'll just tell you flat out you wrong. And a lot of friends, because they knew her and they don't, they don't got that type of history, they can't be that flat out honest and blunt with each other. And Amen. I think it just gives us a cool little dynamic, cool little vibe. I like yeah, that. I, I heard the show, um, damn, I think the first week y'all, y'all did something because Sarah told me about it. And uh, yeah, bro, yeah. I heard that shit. And mind you, all four of the hosts on the show, we all go back to high school. So I know these four <laughs> personalities that's on the show. And I, and I tell you, bro, it was like being in the locker room again in high school, just shooting the shit with Sarah there for some reason. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just hearing it. Right. I remember these days we would talk like this. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. nostalgia. Okay. This, this, this takes you back. You know what I'm saying? So. Beyond hilarious, beyond hilarious. Like how people would genuinely talk. So, yeah. who came up with the casting for the this podcast? Who decided that these four had to be the four? Uh, actually, the podcast, just the whole idea of the podcast in general, was uh, Rob and Sarah. Those are the two that really pushed it. Because me, I talk shit all the time. I'm like, ain't nobody can <laughs> sit up here and listen to me talk shit. I talk shit twenty four seven. Me. What I so, <laughs> I didn't believe it, but um, me and Rob were just talking. We had Sarah on the FaceTime and had just left. And uh, we were telling the story about how we uh, got hemmed up by the police, me and Rob, just on some completely random shit. And we really got into depth with the story. And by the time we were finished, it was like, these are stories that people want to hear, especially mm -hmm. during the time we was in. And COVID was just starting and people had more free time and it was just, it just all kind of hit at the right time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they just bought equipment and was like, no, you on. Like, this is your <laughs> mic. You like, so, yeah, I, mean, like, I, I feel like that's everybody's control. podcast introduction story. Like, during quarantine, you was either selling plates or you were starting podcasts or some shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I love it, though. Or, or doing all of them. Of doing all of the above. <laughs> brought the hustle out of everybody man everybody got something they good at so it's good yeah. to see people moving oh yeah Definitely. when you think about all the alternatives that the that the uh quarantine could have did to you podcast is the way to go for most people, really, yeah know, well like, and you stay the safe. scammer rate went up too i mean oh yeah you know, yeah, oh, yeah. Out, of, out of all time high i'm like how are you scamming? i'm getting scammed right now feel like some shit about my, uh my tags on my car being from another state i said nigga i've been here what are you talking about so <laughs> I don't know. And then also, like, uh, did you know your social security number had expired? I'm like, 
That shit can oh, explain my nigga. God. And, and not to mention, <laughs> what what is it? The UI fraud? Everybody was UI fraud. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, 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 it was big uh, did, UI fraud. <laughs> did y'all get the uh, the sugar mama? Try and try and get at y'all yet? Oh yeah, get that oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it happened to me on Snapchat though. Like she was real, like she literally slid into the DM with a video and was like, "All right, so I'm coming out there, but." For me to come out there, you have to let me wire you money. I was like, wait, what? What? <laughs> this yeah. is not, this ain't it. I don't yeah. know what's going on. So you want me to send you money so you can send me money back? It was a scam. I was like, scam. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, man. No. Nah. Nah. So, yeah. all right. So, Super Bowl just happened. Tom Brady takes on what, number seven? <sighs> for those who care. I don't care. For, <laughs> for those who care. How we feel about the Super Bowl as, as a whole, as an entire production, the game, the weekend, and all this weirdness, the lack of oh. movies, me. Enjoy, I enjoyed my 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 Illuminati esque <laughs> weekend <laughs> performance. It, it was it, it was good, and it told a story that he's been telling like I guess for like what months now. He wore the same suit. He did the plastic surgery joint. Like he did, he knew what to do to keep the the, the yeah. energy going for his album and that's what it was we watched like five mini videos live on the field basically so that was the best part of the super bowl for me I, i'll give you that uh, i'll give you that and we're gonna talk about the halftime performance i just got two things one the i know the weekend got too rich because they gave him the veneers in his teeth once you get them <laughs> teeth you, too, you got too much money that was one part <laughs> and then two I don't want to see the weekend smiling. Like I'm not happy when I listen you, to the you like weekend. Sad I listen weekend. to the old. That's not my I can listen to the old weekend. Like you like no you like drugged out weekend where he was just like yeah. yeah. Like, there another weekend that you know. When, when, yeah. when I think of weekend, I think of a nigga that's coked out, sticking between two big ass. <laughs> about some super fucked up shit. I'm a dumb naked dude. bitches everywhere. Like, yeah, Wicked Games weekend was my favorite. I liked Wicked Games. That's my weekend. Yeah. Um, that's my weekend. Yeah, this House weekend, Starboy, weekend, it never right. was the same after Starboy dropped. I said, you, you got too so much money weekend. or something. No, you happy. Kissland is my weekend, but mm-hmm. Kissland even, yeah. Some of that pop yeah, thing. Kissland's though, too. This pop yeah. thing kind of got a little extra. It's there. It's there. It was like, you know yeah. what? I'm here now. But was it you that said we're not blaming? <laughs> was it what, Jay? Was it you or was it was it one of our other castmates that said we're not blaming Jay Z? No one's blaming Jay Z for the. I for said the, that, for the, we're, not, we're not blaming Jay or Rock Nation. Like, well, I mean, yeah, like he really is the one selected this joint. Now last uh, year he gave us the booties. Last year he gave us Shakira. He gave us J Lo. Uh, I ain't complaining I about it. last year. Loved, <laughs> it. Uh, loved it. No I, I had a problem last year. Uh, yeah. But I tell you though, um, as a whole. The weekend, but there, there, there's a meme that I bro, I die laughing. It was um, it was uh, what you order from Amazon versus what you get, and it's like Bruno Mars with <laughs> the same suit, my name, and then you got uh, oh. you know, like, is it, you know, is it Amazon versus singer? Wish? It's always Amazon. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> they say he's the Wish.com. He's the Wish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I seen one meme where it had uh. Richard Pryor in that red suit, and it was like, oh, I'm yeah. gonna show my kids this the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, they doing my guy dirty. Yo, man. they doing my guy filthy. That ain't even right. That bad, it undefeated. It wasn't that bad of a Undefeated. Hey, that, that went to that Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer was looking pretty nice. I like Boy, it. Wait, I'm in it for that. I'm in it for that for yeah. sure. Oh man. Yeah. I got way too many theories about it as far as what's to become of Winter Soldier in particular. Yeah, but, they, yo, it, it, it got potential. It got potential. Yeah, I mean, nice. right now, one division is really smoking. So, hey, so, that's the only reason I still got my Disney Plus. Uh, Me app. Too. I was gonna cancel it. You're not watching DuckTales? You're not watching Darkwing Duck? I, I, I got that off the first month. And then I was you can't like, watch I'm a through. tailspin like a normal adult. <laughs> like I said, until they put Jet Jackson on there, I'm through. I oh, you wow. I'm oh, that's right. You did say that. Personally, you, me. I've watched yeah. Cool Runnings now three times with Disney Plus and enjoyed it all three times. Like, I, I, yeah. did, I, 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 I said the lines with it. You know what I mean? I did the chant with it. I was really sacking <laughs> like a motherfucker in the back. All that. Like, I really, I get into it every time. Oh, what Disney high. does great is give me back that nostalgia vibe, but you're not picking the right shit to really get, take me there. 
You got the yeah. usual like Aladdin's on there, Lion King is on there, and all yeah. that. Like, you gotta go. You gotta dig deep. Like, where's dinosaur? Let me get that joke. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's there or, now, ooh, though. It's dinosaur. there now. It, it dropped. Dropped. They dropped yeah, the whole the whole season. So but you, you got jokes like Prince of Egypt on there and all that. It's yo, bro. I put yeah. it to you like this: Disney Plus. I feel like there could be a lot more content on there, but if you create like a, a bomb watch list, it's worth it. And I, yeah. I, I I bundled it now. I ain't getting a check for this, but I bundled it with Hulu and ESPN, so I don't pay that much bread for it. So yeah, yeah, stay. I did too. So yeah, it stay. Cool. It's no, like why can't we, we don't promo them like that? Nah. <laughs> my man, hey, yeah, cut the, man, checks, bro. You cut, the check. cut the check. If y'all like cutting cut checks, I'm down to. I like your shit, but cut me your promo. You know, <laughs> But uh, we, we didn't get a lot of trailers though. We got the uh, uh Ryan Last Dragon, we got uh, that's good, a super trash trailer for Fast Nine. I was like, that's corny as shit. And you know what's fucked up about that trailer is that they just show you everything. I'm like, I don't, man, why you are showing us so everything? Nothing, I'm like, bro, that, that that don't even seem like the same like franchise. Go watch the first one right now, go watch the first one. Oh, what when they were different. when they were stealing supplies from a truck? <laughs> yeah. 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 They were acting yeah, like, like, like normal people. people. Like, these niggas is James Bond now. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is shit. Oh man, we said this before. They're the fucking Avengers with cars now. It's like it's getting crazy. Fast eight, now. they hooked a car to a crane <laughs> and swung it. To, come on, bro. Swung it like a vine, my nigga. Like, <laughs> wait, are, are we come are we gonna on. ignore the scene where the Rock was inside of a Hummer? He used his arm to to to, to guide oh. a missile in the Arctic. <laughs> so wait, wait, what? Girl, <laughs> no, no, no. I knew, I knew Maybe Fast and Furious was going a whole different direction. Where like Fast and Space, I could see it. Give it to me, I'll take it. Fuck it. But okay. <laughs> but, but it, a robot. It, it was simple. <laughs> Aegis is a robot in the spinoff. Like, like, so, so, y'all got robots now. We're done. We we said done. <laughs> Dom was on, the, it was in the parking lot. The parking lot is collapsing already. What does he do? He like, A-Town stomps that shit one time <laughs> and the whole shit just drops. And of course, out of everything to survive, Dom survives. <laughs> Crash oh, free. Yeah. First I mean, thing is right, his right team was so <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's where old girl, old girl didn't remember herself, right? That's the yeah. that's that one, right? She remembers yeah. how to drive. She still remembers how to drive whips, though. That ain't never changed. She knows how oh, to yeah, drive yeah. a that's car. Muscle be, memory. Be like, get the girl. Yeah. If you don't get up out of here. <laughs> All right, so uh, how are we feeling about uh, coming to America? This next month? Yeah, mi- mixed feelings. Mixed feelings, man. Uh, I think it's going to be good. It's obviously, it can't beat the first one. It can't. Right. But no. I think it's going to show the proper respect to it. To where you're just okay. not mad. So, okay. I think it's going to be all right. It'll be serviceable. Yeah, I don't think... I like that word, trash. serviceable. Well, I'm already begging, like, it won't be trash. But will it be... Yeah. Yo, nigga, you got to watch that shit. Like, man, quotables, no. It won't no. be that. But... No. Given nah, the fact that I thought Dolomite was fantastic, bro. I thought Dolomite, Ooh. Dolomite, I thought that shit was fantastic, bro. And Eddie was in rare, rare form. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? Coming to America, I'll give it a shot. It's not but it's the, same, it's, the same, it's the same dude that did, it's the same dude that directed the Dolomite joint, right? Yeah. Yeah. He even brought Wesley back, so that's what I'm saying. I I I I think it's going to be serviceable, and I I do think we're going to get entertainment value out of it. But those trailers are very mad at the moment for me. Like they, I'm yeah. not laughing in these trailers. I giggled a little bit, a little yeah. bit. That first one we giggled. That the second barbershop one, I giggled for sure. Yeah, yeah. The barbershop. The, the barbershop homies. That's obviously dead. Those are ghosts. Those are apparitions. Yeah, <laughs> they, I was thinking. I was like, it was <laughs> those, eighty. No, they're holograms clearly, but <laughs> they're still funny. Ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Tom, yeah, I, was like, I, don't, I don't get how y'all can really be alive now. But yeah, all right. I asked Dave this question. Have you seen, I guess, the person that's supposed to supposedly be his son, which we all know is not gonna pro- fucking be his son. Like it's gonna be Simi's probably gonna be sure. Simi's son if or something, but um mm-hmm. have you seen that kid in any anything else? Yeah, I, I saw him in um um sorry to bother you, actually. Oh, oh. He's, he's, he's dope in that. 
Okay. Okay. So he he deserves to be in this spot right now. This is his. T- I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say all that, but you know, I saw him start to bother you. <laughs> yo, you just yeah. you, you said yo, he was dope in that. In that MJ. He was alright. He was cool. You go from that to being in the All Star cast, like All Star. You, you, go- <laughs> like, you average ten points as a rookie, and then they just put you in the All Star game. I've seen it happen a lot. It happens a lot. You know. What oh, I'm it saying? does. It does. But like a cast oh, no. like that though. He yeah. was from Lakeith. Danny Glover, you no know, props to Danny Glover, but like you know, yo, you gotta, you gotta peep Eddie man. Arsenio. And he's, Tracy, he's in, he's in scenes. Wesley, he had Tracy. That's what I'm it was him. That's what I'm what? Yeah, nah. I said that's a lot of that's a lot of heavy hitters to be in a scene with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. That's pressure, boy. I gotta see how you. <laughs> For real. That could break your career. You do bad in that one. Wesley's you know character look wild too. Wesley's character look funny as hell. <laughs> Right, so, he's um, basically he's like the reverse he's the reverse Hakeem he's like the the militant Hakeem I, I want I, I guarantee the, the kids are being Semi's kid I'm oh that's definitely Semi's kid it for sure like, Semi like, was a hoe yeah. Semi yeah, was trying was to get in at all times yeah <laughs> oh and also give a shout out to Sherry Hadley because even at her age I was hmm. in the early sixties late fifties. <laughs> Look, and, 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 and where's where's her sister at? I hope her sister shows up too. The, the thirsty sister. <laughs> she was cool, oh yeah, yeah, she, she was, was cute. She 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 was trying to get action. All right, so uh, ball, by the way, Super Bowl. Did, uh, did y'all care about the game? Did your team win? No, I got drunk the whole Super Bowl. Be honest I, with you. That's how you was getting. You, you, um, barbecue. I was getting lit. Um, I wanted Brady to win, but it wasn't for Brady. It was just for the Bucks coaching staff. So many uh, black coaches getting all those opportunities. I figure in the next 10 years, it should be a whole bunch of black coaches, either at coordinators or head coaches, Amen. just because of that game alone. So, Amen. and two women, too. Yeah, they had two women on the coaching staff. So, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was still a, a dope production. It was still, it, it wasn't the best Super Bowl game in terms of like watching football games. It was trash for that. But other than that, yeah. watching them smack them down, you could honestly say, you kind of saw that was going to happen. We wanted yeah. something else to happen. I wanted the opposite to happen. But just look at them, man. Gronk, Antonio Brown, and them, man. Like, yeah. And it's you got to think about ridiculous it, though. Like, at this point. <laughs> they had home field advantage because it was yeah. at their crib. Yeah. And then uh, the Chiefs couldn't even get there until Thursday night. Yes. The NFL didn't let them come early. So Yeah, it was like, a wild vibe. It was a weird vibe on yeah. this one. It was a weird vibe on this one, so. Man, the better team won, as usual. And Tom Brady, man, Definitely. he's the GOAT, man. No, no, nobody's nobody's going to debate I him. personally felt more yeah. happy for uh, Antonio Brown, but that's just me. No, no, no. I'm Trust me. Yo, they squad is they squad. In fact, Brady – I'm I'm saying this. You hear me say it. Brady caught a ride to the Super Bowl, man. The squad brought him there, yo. The squad brought him there, yo. I Go do around. not feel no type of way for Antonio Brown. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. That nigga was not, wilding for two years, three years. He been wilding. He wilds. He, he, he wilds. Wild, he wilds. He wilds and he played. He played good. He played good. Bro, he recorded my nigga tumbling. Almost got him in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he wilded out on the, uh, uh, the owner of the Raiders <laughs> twice. Said he was gonna whoop his ass. You, you, you say say that to your boss. You fired. Yo, he told he, the nigga in the yo, Patriots yo, he's gonna he fly is, him. He is the example of how spicy you can be and still end up with a ring. Like that's the best story in the world. Like for real. Yeah, but I don't feel bad or good for the nigga. Like you got fired because you were supposed to. <laughs> if a nigga always let you get fired, I'm gonna be like, hey, you know, it's it is, nigga's late. Like, oh my God. It's what it is. Yeah, so you know, he got it though. That's cool. So uh, today's movie we're gonna be honoring, uh, of course, the uh, the great Chadwick Boseman. Uh, you know what, Dwayne? Let me ask you, bro. Um, we're, mm-hmm. we're a good minute away before like the anniversary of his death. But when you found out about, about uh, Chadwick, Bo- Chadwick Boseman's passing, how did you feel? Um, I guess right now, just because of the age we live in, first thing I do is don't believe it. I right. Doubt. That's mm-hmm. the first thing. Then after a while, it's just it's settling on you, and you go back and you start looking at the films that you didn't watch and how good he was and memorable in these roles, and it just it just start to affect you slowly. It wasn't like it hit me at once. It was kind of like a day go by, two days go by. Then they talking about Black Panther role and what they gonna do, and it's just like, bro, this dude affect. He had like a ripple effect on 
Mm-hmm. Everybody who was around him came into contact with him. And it was just how he kept it a secret and then, like didn't tell people because he just wanted yeah. people to be genuine with him. Like it, it just it made you think about some stuff for real, man. Absolutely. And, and watching this movie that we're doing today brought it exactly that back to me. I was like, damn, he's doing all this and damn. Yeah. Know. And be sick and just see, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I just became a castmate like right when he died and we was doing like all the like the postings and we was paying homage on the Back to the Classics page on Facebook. And you was kind of like in disbelief. You're like, nah, they wildin'. He ain't dead. Yeah. You know what I'm but yo, when you found out he was gone and then you saw like all the celebrities and like they did that special for him on ABC. Damn, that shit was sad, Ooh, man. That was hard yeah, to watch. The ABC joint was wild, yo. Like that was hard to watch. All the Avengers, all the Avengers pulled up. Like they got yeah. everybody. Everybody he worked with pulled up. Like, and that's how you know if you got you are you are respected if everyone pulls yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, keeping it a secret, just like you said, just hiding something like that. And obviously taking care of his wife, taking care of his family behind the scenes. And then yeah. uh, was it the picture that leaked? We had seen the, the first picture of him. We thought he was method acting for a role. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, he's man, just, I, yeah, 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 it, it just it just hurts because he's just a really talented brother. And we, we I, I think the culture just started really riding with Chadwick a lot, you yeah. know, and we just started getting like those releases, like Five Bloods. And we were, we were getting some jams, bro. We were getting some jams. Yeah. And, 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 he, and, he, and he's gone now, so we got to honor him as much as possible. That's a, that's all I got to say about that. Um, I mean, the old uh, cat, oh my bad. No, I'm saying for the old cat from the uh, Five Bloods, the one who had the daughter on the low, yeah. he actually told the story where, uh, I guess on the Five Bloods, because they were in there, all that humanity, that Chadwick was sick. So after every scene, he would go get a massage from his wife, and she would be over there holding his hand, and he was... Uh, he didn't know what was going on. Nobody did. So they thinking, they was like, oh, he's Hollywood and the, the Black Panther role got to his head. So he's thinking of it like that. Like, okay, right. he's a little Madonna-ish now. Yeah. And then once he found out and all that came to light, dude cried on camera. It made me tear up because he was like, damn, like, I'm thinking the negative about this man. And he He's literally fighting for his life shooting this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... That yeah. just, that made me tear up a little bit when I heard that. Yeah, uh, so. even for me, man, I was I was uh, just I was driving to LA. I just literally got into LA, and uh, Skylar shot me the text. I'm like, what? Nah, nah, yeah. nah, bro, you tripping? And bro, I, I think I googled it on the freeway, googled it, and of course, you know, right on the money. TMZ got the first report out. Like, if TMZ got it, nah, you know, you know, TMZ is and, and, and nothing left to say. You know what I'm saying? And TMZ, yeah. TMZ has broken my heart like four times last year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On time. Poor TMZ. You know I can't so, stand them. Of course not, man. But I feel it, Jay. I feel you on that one, man. Yeah. It, it, it threw it rock it rocked us. It rocked the country on that one. Yes, yeah. sir. But uh, we definitely we, we honor him this way because. Another performance, which is personally for me, one of my favorites because we did 42 last week. This one here, though, this was like a whole another kind of beast. We're talking about Get On Up, original release date August 1st of 2014, shares opening weekend with Guardians of the Galaxy, Mercenaries, and Four Men to Mile. I have no clue what the fuck that is. Lucy, too. Yo, that, that, that was a heavy box office, you know? I mean, I guess Guardians, yeah. But definitely yeah, guard definitely. Guardians. There is yeah. a four minute mile. <laughs> Let me tell you. But a uh, production budget thirty million dollars with a box office total of thirty three point four million dollars, eighty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, mm-hmm. I start with Dwayne, bro. Uh, eighty uh, percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you feel like that's fair? Um, I got two judgments on the film. Uh, eighty percent. That might be a little high. But we're talking about everything included. Just because it's some stuff I didn't like about the movie, but I, I won't ever combat it because it still is a good movie. So mm. I let him ride with eighty, but I would have gave it like in the seventy somewhere. Oh, we, we, we're gonna talk about that. I, I, I got a few <laughs> about the movie too, but overall, yeah. I think it's a great movie. But uh, yeah. Duval, yeah. what's got? Um, 
considering this movie was PG-13 and they tried their hardest to deal with uh, the good and the demons without going into, you know, we're steering into rated shit. R territory. I think yeah. 80s, I think 80 is fine. I, I, I personally would have did 75, but I understand why I got the 80 because I started looking at more of the positives, like the visualizations, the the obviously just everybody in costume from the way they, they'll do the makeup and the way you got to see James Brown do, do, do them errors. I think it did a really good justice for that part of it. So I give it the 80. It deserves the 80. I, I give it as well. Uh, also, with my negatives, which we can kind of get to now, uh, a lot of my negatives is uh, had this been Red at Art, I'm really yeah. going for mm-hmm. it. Yeah. You would, have, you would have some shit. Like, you would mm-hmm. really, like, Jay Punk wanted had, to. It really Brown wanted to. And then it just, it, it kept pulling itself back. Yeah. Like, yeah. James Brown got 13 kids. We only, mm-hmm. we only have one in this movie. Mm-hmm. And that went fast. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah. has you gone R and really took it there? Like Ray Charles was good to be PG PG thirteen. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not as many um, negative uh, yeah. headline graphic things about Ray Charles except the fact that he had hell of wives, hell of chicks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brown got hell of kids. Mm-hmm. He did hell of dope. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, the, the, wild, you remember the famous that. mugshot with like his hair yeah, was all look like, yeah. Thunder, yeah. <laughs> look like a thunder <laughs> cat, bro. They ain't really getting to the nasty like James they Brown. Wanted to, like. yeah. They wanted to though. They tried. Really they wanted really to. Yeah. The number a, a different story. I think like, had you really gotten to it, let like, Chad would really like eat. Oh, he would have had an Oscar already. Easy. But you know what? Yeah, I honestly well, think because this one was like about what? Is it two and a half? It's like two, two, no, two, about off, two, two twenty. Yeah. If you probably would have gave it maybe a whole three hours, I think it would have ate better. Like I think you could have did more with this. Like there was more story really to tell. But the type of story they were telling, I see what they were doing. Like they were trying to like pay him homage without really shitting on him. But they yeah. did like shy away from shit. They just was like, Ugh. but we still want to show you he was a he was the most the baddest brother on the planet, the Godfather. Yeah. So like it's like, but I want to see everything now, especially yeah. after you know you. Like, if you're you, gonna tell the story, I need you to like tell the story. Tell, tell his story. Right. Like yeah. I, I only hope that uh, I know uh, Clive Davis is doing the, um, a Wooden Houston joint coming up. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, if Clive's gonna do it. I a boy. I want I want full blown Whitney R rated. I want to know everything, bro. Mm-hmm. I want to see her at her lowest, bro, because we deserve that. I mean, we don't deserve, we don't deserve anything, but as far as <laughs> if you're gonna go and give me a movie about a controversial figure who was yeah. controversial for a reason, take it there. Trying to, we're trying to, and now that we've gotten array already, and we've gotten stuff on that bar. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of tough to make these things now because you have to be willing to go there now. Like, yeah. where the Whitney Houston story is going to go. Like, we know she's going to be in a bathtub. We know the scene we're going to get. She's going to be doing hella coke. I, I, we, we know they these things. Away from, they can't shy away from that finale because we all know the story. We know everything. Her ups and downs with Bobby and everything. So I agree with you. Like, we can take it now. Tell us the story. Tell us everything. You know? And it's going to shock people because I think Whitney was on drugs early, even before she met Bobby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. You put maybe. Bobby on, bro. They, they, both, they both were in a time frame where they were both popping. They were partying, yeah. brother. That's, that's all it was. They were partying. What I'm saying is, if you're going if you're, if you're to go that route, like, every everybody who's alive that's a biopic now, a lot of them would be like, well, let's let's leave that out and let's be this <laughs> you, you, you would be the hero of your own story. I get that. Because Dre looked like a whole angel in Strata Compton. We all know. Right. Hey, right. Really, we it, know. It is what it you is. Know. We, know, we, know, we know straight out of Compton was a fiction. It was a fiction with factual things but happening. Was, but there was fictional yeah. things happening as well because they needed to tell a story at the end of the day. And I feel like James Brown's uh, situation with this particular biopic was they were trying to weave in as much facts as possible, but still try to also entertain us 
at the same token. And I think that's a, probably why they didn't pull the trigger on a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that was one thing. And another thing is uh, kind of how they shot it like out of sequence, like chronologically, it kind of yeah, jumps yeah. around a I little bit. I, I you, like it, did but- you, did, you, did you like not like that? I just don't think, like, it doesn't grab you enough for that. Like, it's hard to do a biopic in right. that format. Because, like, Pulp Fiction does it. But right. every scene is grabbing you in a different way. And it's 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 re-grabbing your interest. Right. Because there's so many more characters and there's so many more moving pieces that you never really want to look away. It's parts of this film where I kind of like, oh, let me get up and go get something to drink. Or like, and I didn't feel like I had to pause it. Or- I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll add to you, to what you said, because I thought it was interesting that they did that. I thought it was also interesting yeah. that he breaks the fourth wall a lot in terms of he's telling his own story in a way, like, yeah. which is, which was a, which was a, a dope choice to do because a lot of them don't really do it like that. They'll just tell you the story. But whenever you yeah. get the character, like I'm James Brown, I'm going to tell you my story and all that. That's dope, you know what I'm saying? Because it kind of creates like, okay, we, we rolling with James Brown then. We rolling. Yeah. But when you're knocking it out of that order, when you're trying to do some old Quentin Tarantino-esque type stuff, yeah. you you some scenes fall short now because you started something and then you immediately go to when he's a kid. So you're like, wait, all right, all right cool. Well, okay, so, yeah. so from that, I felt the same way re-watching it because uh, you know, I, I told Duvall before we started, this is the first time I watched the movie all the way through. Right. You know, every, yeah. every time I put every time I ever put this movie on, I get about 30 minutes into it and I just I do something else. Right. This is the first That's time my I point. Watched. That was my point. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so, it's distracting. It's distracting. But now really digging into it, I feel like the nonlinear way of, of telling the movie mm-hmm. is really to be like James' stream of conscience wherever he is at that moment. Probably right. due to the drug use, clearly, but right. you don't know where his mind is at the time when, when we're if, if we're if we're, if we're watching this movie through his POV, mm-hmm. whatever cocaine mind is on at that time takes him here. You know what I'm right. saying? Just like how the movie opens with him uh, shooting a, a roof in the building because all the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, love the opening. It's a great. Wildest, opening. That's the wildest way to start a biopic joint. That's the wildest. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a, you be like, great opening. I, I love this opening. And, you, know, you opened the book right to the middle and was like, <laughs> like, like let's just go straight to the to the nitty gritty. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa! But, wow. but, you, but yeah. wasn't you? Re- you was waiting for that. I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> it yeah, all started. Like, they were like, nah, we <laughs> just, just run it. <laughs> yeah, they was like, just run it. We good. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, speaking of of the, of, the, of the scenes that were boring. Which would have really benefited from a R, from a Reddit R was like, yep. you know, we we'll get to the point of like, you know, knowing who was mom by Queen Viola Davis and uh, his pops by mm-hmm. uh, I can't, I can't Len- Lenny Williams. Yo, Lenny Williams yeah. is a dope actor. Yeah, so so he yeah, was that was mom. that was shocking. Yeah. yeah, I was like, all right, cool. This this this, this makes sense, especially in that shack in the woods type of shit. Like, this is really. Rural South, you know what I'm saying? Country, country. country. Yeah, country. Even when Viola said, I'm just country, I said, yo, you got it. You nailed it. Like paying his mom to be like, so, so she was like a prostitute of some sorts? Yeah. And it's like, okay, you know, it's cool. Had we been ready to and really kind of got into it, we could have really mm-hmm. like saw some shit. Like we, we could see that it was that awkward baby mom, baby yeah. daddy argument. Well, we're not filmmakers obviously we, we we're not filmmakers i won't skip ahead but i do want to point this one thing out viola had a scene where she she seen him and he was a you know he was working for honey the Octav- octavia spencer yeah. you know and she obviously said nah you know she 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 didn't acknowledge him you know what i'm saying obviously she gave up her role as a mom and she Fervor gave up her role as a mom when she seen him and still didn't acknowledge him. She was on a date. Mm-hmm. I felt like they could have slid the other scene immediately right after that, the one, the hundred dollar scene that they had. Like we yeah. wait to get that scene later. It's like, why didn't you just put those scenes together? Like that would have made more sense because he was already a James Brown at that point. We could have seen that scene. And even when you see the hairstyle, it looked like that scene was before where we were at in the story. It just was weird placing when they did that scene. I was like, wait, why didn't you just give us that scene before that? 
Yeah. That's why I think Jay was saying though. I think Jay was saying like it kind of jumps around in a that uh, jump like around his stream of like consciousness is hard to follow. Where, where he is mentally at that time, you know. What right, I mean? exactly. It was because, and it's fine. And it was fine. And it was well acted. Oh man, that's oh, yeah, absolutely well acted. Well acted. Yeah. The placements of the the shot, like oh, whoo! That moment, yeah. it was twice. It was yeah. to kind of bounce around the movie. It was when uh, uh they, they they get the deal as the flaming flames or the yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos, whatever. And, and, and they're cutting the record and cut to the to the to the executive. Like, you know, you could bring a bring a nigger in here to cut music. I was like, wow. However, wow. the real like, oh, excuse the fuck out of me moment came when he saw his mom's on the date, right? Yeah. And yeah. the dude goes, you know that little nigga? Yeah. You feel me? Like, I was like, oh bro. Yeah. It's she's like, okay. playing hard. She played him. Played him like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that Let's go. Like, come on. Oh, yeah, that, 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 there's a couple scenes in there that's like tough. You're like, oh, okay. But it's a great time. Yeah, you know, like, it, it goes back to to fast forward. It goes back to like, you know, that that, that one scene toward the end where, where he's talking to her, gives her $100 and just sends her on the way. Because you know, right. he says, James Brown don't need nobody but James I don't Brown. need nobody. But, uh, that's my favorite thing. I was gonna, that <laughs> that's was, the one I was gonna pick for my favorite. Trust me, trust yeah. me. I don't feel like we're we're even doing anything wrong by talking about it because remember, this movie is yeah. so out of place. It's gonna yeah. be the scenes that grab us the yeah, most. A, a nonlinear storytelling can be a nonlinear review for sure. <laughs> really? I'm just like, I love the best. Yeah, because she tried to. She tried to say, uh, my my baby or something like that, or my honey. Like she was proud of me. He was like, nah. Nah, don't nah, be trying me. I don't yeah. want none of that. Yeah, don't don't gonna... come there. Don't tell him I'm your son. Don't try and switch up now. <laughs> like yeah. he for sure was like, nah. That's my yeah, favorite. It was cold blooded. It sure. was cold blooded. And, that, and, and all it, hurt that it. it hurt him more to do it. It hurt him more to do it. It hurt him more to do it. He didn't want to do it like that, but he had to. He was like, nah. The same way she cut him off, he kind of gave you. her that icy cold from the back. back. And you could tell, that. like, it didn't sit right with her. She was like, ooh. But she knows she had to eat it. Like I was like, yeah, I like that. Mm. Yeah. Um she had to eat that. So uh when he when he was 17, James uh gets locked up for uh still in the suit, which was like <laughs> back in them days, they <laughs> now ten, they are now dying for suits, my nigga. Like no. Damn. Yeah. Like and, dying, and, and, bro. Like he they, had five. T- they bust they bust shots at him too. I said, man, you you he he the real matrix. He's getting shot at a lot in this. <laughs> but didn't he have like five years or something on that? Yeah, five, five, to, ten, five to ten for yeah. the suit. It was a dime, my man. For the yeah. first suit. Years. I'm like, yeah. can you just fit that boy? Like, you don't know yeah. you even fit that boy. Hey, hey, oh shout outs to God. him grabbing the shoes off the dude hanging, which is a very arresting scene. Right. That was an arresting scene for a PG-13 joint. I said, okay. It didn't last long for it to be, in a, for it to be a, a, impactful on me. Right. It's like, oh, that's, that's, that's fucked up. But it's the South. It, it's the no. country. You know, it's the country. But so Once again, going back to that, had it been rated at our uh, vibe, to really let shit breathe? Like, let that yeah, shit yeah they could have let you go. sit on that. Yeah, let's just turn that for yeah. a second. Like, like, like this was this was the South in the thirties. But the reason yeah. it, it, it arrested me is because if I'm thinking of as a young James Brown, obviously your parents are abusive to each other. They are verbally abusive. They abuse each other in such a fashion that you're watching this that it was casual for him to take these shoes off of a dead man hanging from a tree. It was casual. It was like a it was like a nothing scene to him. And you don't need it. Yeah, he was yeah. like, right, "These my shoes now. I'm out." It's like, like my man's like, everything at this point. In the '30s, for it to be that just regular and part of society, yeah, that broke people would take the shoes off of them, and they would just saw it as a normal thing, like you said. Yeah, that's hard to try and put yourself in that mindset. Put yourself I, in, I that, in that situation. Like, yeah, I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, even though, like, for me, like. And I'll tell anybody that's like movies, movies that that take that that do these times like the thirties, the forties, kind of working mm-hmm. their way up. Like slave movies, I'm over. I'm good on all those. Don't don't, yeah. don't show it to yeah. me. Don't show them to me. I get it. <laughs> it was really fucked up then. I mm-hmm. want to like that's why movies like uh, Judas and Black Messiah, which by the way, 
we got a screener for it. So the, the, the review will be out soon. How I know. Boy? I know. What up? I know. What up? What up? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but movies are set in a time to where showing you like at this time, shit was fucked up for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like not just people, mm-hmm. us. It was fucked up for us, right? To the point where when you're doing your own people dirty, like to know that he had to adapt to um uh uh Octavia Spencer's character, what's your name? Honey June, right? He had to adopt he had to adapt her whole get down. Yeah. Or get left behind. And, and like like clockwork, he was on. And that's yeah. how you get that, that heartless feeling back. But with an R rating to really let's go deep. Like James yeah. saw some shit at a young age. Cause yeah. they were alluding, they were alluding that she was running a whole house. Am She's I correct? Running a whole house. Yeah. Yeah. You know what 100%. I'm saying? percent they, like they couldn't say it because it was PG thirteen, but yeah. Now I'm not trying to change his yeah. history. It, it would have hit harder if the mom just happened to be working at the whole house at that time. That would have hit harder. All right, so uh, uh, let's touch on um, the friendship and the kind of weird vibe. You're like, damn, they mm-hmm. both gone. We well, got uh, uh, Nelson Ellis as Bobby Bird and James Brown and their camaraderie between the two. Cause like watching them two kind of play off each other was like, all right, so, so these are your best friends. Right. Everybody else kind of comes and goes. Craig Robinson is great. Da, da, da. I can't believe Black Thought's in this motherfucker. They didn't realize hey, Black Thought, <laughs> Black Thought's quietly in it, but I'm he's like, funny though. Black he's Thought. funny. He's mad <laughs> funny. So a few. Could be like, like Jill Scott, you know that's oh, that, that's Jill and Philly. When yeah. I saw Black Thought, I'm like, oh. They was blacked out. Oh shit! Yeah. But they, this was but, they, 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 his his band was mad funny. His band oh, was yeah. cool as hell. Oh, yeah. Craig Robinson killed it as usual, as usual. But but it, it's, it's the realization of watching Nelson and Chad play off each other. Yeah, and be so good, yeah. like especially in the sense where they're being like sympathetic towards each other, like being like like yeah. boys. And then you realize in, re- in real life they're both gone. Yeah. Man, crazy. I, I always felt like Nelson Ellis had a tremendous career from True Blood and yeah. and uh, uh, other movies that, that he did up until he passed. And when he passed, it was such a quiet mm-hmm. passing. Like, oh damn, he passed. Yeah, yeah man, it's it's a, it was a weird vibe seeing how much Nelson Ellis is in this. Like, <laughs> like I didn't realize he was really in this movie. I said, oh, Nelson Ellis is in this thing. Like he's, for real. He's like he's second like, fiddle to Chad. He's sure. second fiddle to Chad, and they. He, he played his role well. I don't really know the backstory for Bobby Bird and the birds and all of that, but um, you could tell that was his homie, just the way that they told his story. He wasn't keeping them down. Like, obviously the Bobby Bird character knew his role and he played it well. He said, I'm here, for, I'm here to support James Brown. Like, his soul is my yeah. soul. My sound is his sound. Like, we gonna make it work together. And Nelson played that perfectly, perfectly. Even when he finally stepped out of character at one point, it, 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 he he even had to catch himself. He said, "You know what, brother? I'm gone." <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I was gonna ask y'all this, right? I was gonna ask y'all. So I don't feel like James Brown started treating him different, but you see his, his like reaction change a little bit. Yeah, and he still played his role, but you could tell it started getting to him a little bit bigger. James got like right. Even I don't when know, Craig I had talk. that talk with him, Craig, yeah, Craig yeah. was saying something to him. But what, he what never he never jumped out of pocket though. But you nah. could tell like the just the feeling of it was a little different than when they was first coming up through it. Right. He, he realized that, yeah. that that all right, so from here on out, James is the star. I'm I'm the man behind the man. And it, and yeah. it, and, and and it I, makes I, sense. I have to accept that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, even this, for me, right? There's the dudes that lead, and that I'm not that dude to be in the front. I'm not a yeah, front like, dude. Bro, even for me, bro, yeah. but, you know, cats like me, like, I, I think we're all music heads, like, we're all in the same groups on Facebook. So it's yeah. like, you know, I was always curious, even, even if it was like a weed head thought, I'm always curious about, like, when I hear, get up, get on up. I want to hear, the, mm-hmm. I wanna hear the, that second dude's voice. Who that? I know yeah. James, but who the second dude? <laughs> Yeah. This is my yeah, chance know to know what the second that. dude was. You definitely, know what I'm saying? Definitely. And they were mad tight. So I always love the fact that while you have James Brown as who you know him to be, his man's was Bobby Bird. That was yeah, that's his man. That was his man's. Yeah, he, he held him down. He, he held him down. And I, so, I like how that. How that many people play that role good. for that long, though? How many people can hold somebody down for that long? Show be like, right, You'd be, right, be surprised. You'd be surprised, brother. You'd be surprised. 
I, mean, you got I, I feel like we've seen Bird. Bobby Birds a lot. We've seen that Bobby Bird character in mostly every joint similar to this. There's always that strong number two, like, I've been here supporting your dream this whole time, brother. Like, and then this he, is my dream too. Yeah, yeah. and then they no, get no, shitted on get always. They always get shitted on the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same with Ray when he got the new uh, manager, remember at the end? And, then that yeah. was, and now, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a it's a wild right. vibe. It's a wild vibe when it comes to like that part of it. But I will say this: um, um, well, I was gonna bring up a point about Nelson again. They had one performance um where they were actually singing and they were just doing their thing. Like you being on the road so much with these dudes, like it's kind of part of you. Imagine if he went back in the world and tried to do something else. Like, all right, I'm gonna drop my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. It's like, nah, it's already too late. Yeah. That ship kind of sailed for you. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, you, if you were going to do that, you should have walked with the boys at that point. Yeah, because they're going to be like, well, who is you now? Like, no, because I'll crazy, be here. Though, yeah. But hold on. My bad. I didn't mean to control. What's crazy is he yeah. did walk. He did walk. And that, at first. And that storytelling didn't really give us the middle we needed because he was right back on the scene. Like, yes, Mr. Yeah. Brown. I'm like, wait, could we tell how he came back? Like, we didn't get that. And everybody else, like, everybody else stayed, like, nah. Yeah, nah. Like, how was get... he the only one that, I don't know. Um, I, I can tell you that uh, these next few scenes, I, I, I love, man. I, my favorite James Brown record is Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Brown. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least one of them, for sure. But, you know, I was always wanting to know, like, these these musical Bob picks, I want to know how certain songs got made. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever, whenever we get... God willing, we ever get a Marvin Gaye record. I'm, I'm, I'm a Marvin Gaye movie. I'm all in. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. That's a, that's gonna be a sad one too. That's, that's, I can't that's wait a tear, for that. For real. But mm -hmm. uh, but during the the King uh, assassinations, he's he, he's doing this record, and he gets to see us at the uh, at the Boston Garden when one time is is big tripping. They're they're literally riding outside, and you have a concert been there. And black folks just want to dance. Now, I thought this scene was so dope because it's almost like James is checking the man while we're kind of checking ourselves. Like, bro, like you can't mm -hmm. wild out now because what's happened has happened. Yeah. It's fucked yeah. up. Like, like Dr. King was mine too, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. because of what's going on outside, you can't wild out now because mm -hmm. if they if they if they killed him, they'll kill you. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. quick. You know, just that's when I was finna uh that's when I was finna rush the stage, right? What you talking they, about? They were mm -hmm. rushing the stage, like four or five hundred yeah. on stage. And they yeah, were, they were snatching them up real quick and he's like, stop. Yeah. Black, ain't we? Which I love the long with and we black ain't yeah. we? Can't nobody yeah. change that. That was a dope scene. It was dope a great scene. scene. Yeah. Uh, a great scene. Right. And it's funny yeah. because it's placed in the way where like you kind of going between like watching him like smack down Jill Scott or, or Dee Dee or Deidre rather. Smack her down real quick. Mm -hmm. See this hey. <laughs> I wish that was rated R. I, was, I, got, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got, I had an issue with that scene. Not, not it's, it's well, it's well executed because you don't see it. I coming. had a sound issue, but that's I had wild. A sound issue. Like, like once he goes away, I'm like, yeah, you gotta stop and watch. Ah! I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what I got. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got the, that. you got the off camera. Off camera violence, you know. Yeah. And, no, no, it, it was uh, off camera. Like uh, she, she kind of walked away. You don't see the actual yeah. slapping, but you see the the plop and the fall down the crowd. But like, and, 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 and nah, I, I don't want it. I, I don't want beat that. Tina. <laughs> I don't want it. That's my point. I beat Tina. <laughs> we saw it. So the reason <laughs> I didn't want it. Let me tell you why I didn't want it because it didn't go nowhere. Like after you showed it, definitely at this point. James Brown has been stellar throughout the movie. Like he's not not flawless, but he's been a character that we can go we can go behind. Like okay, he's a solid dude. You know, we, like, we don't dive into the drug use. We don't dive yeah. into the. Once violence. he did that, that was the the dive moment. It was like, oh okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like that's why you, you have to really view this movie like you're literally viewing it through the consciousness of right. James Brown. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It, it, that one. That one was, a, it, it, and then obviously the next scene, obviously something completely ain't got nothing to do with that. You, you got you to eat that. And then the other scene, obviously, when he comes home and, hey, I've been calling you all day. Where you been? You know what I'm saying? 
I feel like that's a segue to what he's used to seeing between his mom and dad when he was little. You mm. know what I'm saying? It, yeah. He's he's a product of his environment. You know what I'm saying? I used to see my dad smack my mom around and you know, if whenever I see a woman get out of line, you get smacked up, you know, pr- plain and simple. Yeah. You know, I, I wish they would have delved into that a little bit more, but obviously it was, this wasn't that kind of movie, you know? Yeah. Like even though you escaped the house, you didn't escape it meant like no. it's still there. Right. Yeah, it's still, so, still there. Yeah. But it, mm-hmm. you know, I, I kind of want to give a shout out to Dan Aykroyd because he actually played uh, the white dude I like. For sure, mm-hmm. uh, I thought he the, the, the support he shows James throughout the movies. Though, so when he passed, when he, when he passes away, I'm like, damn. And they did it calm too. They did it. Uh, it was a yeah. calm but, passing, but, but like, it was calm. But it fell on the ground. You are like, oh, okay. It felt so cold. Like it, the, the sky yeah. is mad dim. He's laying on the ground, eyes open. Like you know, oh damn, like, mm-hmm. really just, You know what I liked about their relationship? I liked the, that that. It, the Dan Aykroyd character did represent, obviously, you know, the, the way Caucasians start back then and the way things, yo, this is the way it has to go. This is the way, you know, you always got that one. Yeah. Day, don't change it, James. These are these are, things are put in place for a reason. And he, yo, my man's combated him every time. Like, nah, we're going to sl- be flipping the script on that. We flipping the he, script. Like, he represented the establishment, just how the rules were set up. And he was just yeah. like, he's like, nah, nah we're nah, going to break those down. Do but he has so much trust in James Brown. I can tell that. Watching yeah. his man's die like that, that's why that hurt him. He's like, yo, this dude was riding for me. Even he didn't have yeah. to ride with me, and he still ride with me no matter what. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? By the way, another GG scene. He buys him a Cadillac, a cold little Cadillac, too, actually. Love that and scene. And then goes to the driver of that Cadillac, said, Get another job. I drive myself. Like, yo, that's some G shit. <laughs> and paid him. That was he some said, G you shit. I was like, You good. Go, go, go <laughs> get you another that. job. I'll pay you out. Yeah. yeah. And then still and then still said, I right, what's going on with the situation at the gate? Like my man was business all yeah. long, yo. I love that whole scene. That whole scene was good. Mr. Brown, I, I didn't know James Brown was responsible for all of that. I didn't know James Brown had that big of an impact on changing the way yo. black people did business with all the other moving parts of show business. Mm-hmm. Like I believe even it. fights that they still fighting today. Yeah. He was like the starter, like the, the yeah. gasoline for that whole fight to even start. Like that's I, believe I didn't it, know all of that about him. I believe and, and I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. And I'm glad that they at least they got that part of it right. Like when it came to his yeah. affairs, his business, and his music, they that movie, the movie took care of that part of it. Like my money's good, trust me. Sure. Yeah. Good. Um and the wardrobe, the wardrobe in the movie killed it. Killed it. Wardrobe, yeah. yo. Chadwick's footwork is insane. Killed it. Killed it. <laughs> Yo, I'm you're like, an actor when I'm I forget that you're that. An, When I forget it's you, you're a good actor. Like, Ray, I forgot I was watching Jamie Foxx. There was a couple of scenes I forgot Chadwick was there. I was like, all right, this is James Brown. Tell me, the footwork's I'm like, Yo, look at, look at Chad's footwork. Go ahead, yeah. like, You know, I, I thought it was great. He didn't sing like James. No, no. But the no. footwork, he studied no. some shit. But they were able to sample definitely, definitely. what they could. Like when it was the James Brown, just basically him lip singing the actual James Brown stuff. Mm-hmm. Chadwick made it look like it was him. <laughs> yeah, right. He made it look like he was doing it. <laughs> even even, even sure. the, the, the lip syncing was dope, though. Like even uh, yeah, oh, killed it. World, like another James oh, Brown. That's my last. favorite performance. That's my favorite performance. He's that's doing that kind of yeah. like coldest one. And they didn't oh, do nothing good. with that character. You remember Shorty that came on the bus, the new singer? Yeah. She, uh, I forgot about yeah. her. Yeah. I know. He uh, dropped her name, so I know she's somebody, like, she didn't get no story arc whatsoever. And it looked like they were going to try to create attention, but her, with, with her and Jill Scott, she's just watching him perform, especially Man's World, when he was performing that track. I said, okay, her character might be a mistress or something. Now, had it been read at R. It never went nowhere. It never went nowhere. Yeah. Because we know in real life, we know what happened to that shit. Yeah, Jay would have hit that, for so, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yo, when he said that to Bobby, he was like this. Hey, she was in my business once, too, bro. One time. One of the colors in my life. Boy, I'm talking hey, hey. about my wife be like that. Yo, have you ever been in an argument so, like, like you know, like, is you and somebody, like, real close to you, so... You're in an argument that's so like, damn it, y'all going like shot for shot, and a shot hits you like, 
Yeah, oh, nigga, that was yeah, the shot. Like, Arsenal. Oh, you gonna go there? You gonna go there with it? Oh, okay. you you argue and argue. Here. So <laughs> at what point do you say, you know what, this fight is done. Now it's fisticuffs, or do you kind of keep fighting? You know what? No, I, you, you, nah, nah, we had a scrap. In fact, <laughs> I'm, shocked, <laughs> I'm shocked he didn't punch him. He yeah. should have punched him for that. That was disrespectful. Right. Yeah. First of all, I told you I'm dropping my album and you ain't supporting me. I'm dropping yeah, my album. the whole fight. He yeah. told James, I'm thinking about doing a second solo joint. And James got pissed. And really, yeah. because think about it, like, I don't agree with how James, like, went, 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 like, went about it. But yeah. I get it. James right. Brown is a scared man. Yeah. Because really, when, when the whole band quit, like the whole band dipped out. Bobby stayed twice. Yeah. When the band dipped the first time, Bobby stayed. Yeah. Second time, Bobby still stayed. And you kicked Bobby out. Mm-hmm. You so, ain't supposed to be treating me like that. that. I've been loyal. loyal. Yeah. It's like, bro, right. I right. hear you. But Bobby got a fucking point, my nigga. Like, he's, he's been robbed for you since the beginning. I'm a day one. I'm and he smashes his can't, That's like You a, can't let him get a little shine on Wait, him. whoa. Wait, bring it back. Bring it back. The smash the in on scene it. was so cold-blooded. He was like, yo, so what about you know my sister? Man. He's like, you know, me and her, we going to harmonize every once in a minute. <laughs> like, wait, what? You do what? <laughs> With my sister? Yeah. Hey, he owe that man. Let that man go do his album. You owe that man. <laughs> You know I would have, I would have, basically, that's like Memphis Bleak <laughs> telling Jay, yo, it's time for me to shine. He's like, no, it's not. <laughs> not on my watch, motherfucker. <laughs> right, like, I wouldn't compare it to him. Bleak had his own little run and whatever. I know, I know. Bro, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm saying the what is situation. It's the what is situation. Like, it's the R&B group where, like, <laughs> the one brother finally wants to do the solo and they just really like, no. Like, this is love because Jazz wore the solo joint. Like, you you yeah. your fucking nerve. Get your, you get your ass done. in the back and keep dancing. <laughs> yeah, cut that out. <laughs> hey, Beyonce, yeah, it's my time for my album to drop. Yeah, do no, that, you gotta do that damn thing. Get on with number two. But, uh, yeah, man. So so that breakup happens. Uh, and also, like, a uh, 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 fireball of shit happens at this time when uh, Bobby walks away, his son dies in the car accident, which yeah. really, they don't really... Ooh. No deal with that at all, but no, they don't. Our two just gave you like a whole bunch of hadoukits, but you were like, Why am I yeah. boom, boom, boom? Like, why am I getting hit with all of these hadoukits and then no substance behind them? Like, and you really like, saw no real I, I bonding even between him and his son. Died. Like, like, you saw no real bonding there between him and his son. It was like, Okay, so yeah. your son just died. We should, we should feel fucked up. Your son, yeah. like, like. The, the Temptations movie that we all know and love from high school. Love it. And mm-hmm. before, when uh, 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 Otis' son dies, we feel that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We feel that. And, they, and, then, and then they go into like detail what happened. Oh, we feel that. That's mm-hmm. horrible. We're all fathers yeah. here. So we, we feel that. Yeah. It's it, losing yeah, your sir. kid. You don't, you don't want to have to ever bury your child. And they put more stank on the Dan Aykroyd death than the, than the kid's death to me. Because he was around. Like, like, like we, Aykroyd was around and he, he, he was down, but you, but for this Yeah, like, this your son. Uh, yeah, this, that, that one didn't sit well with my spirit. I ain't like the way that just casually yeah, 13 kids, to the next scene. Losing one was like, well, I mean, damn. Let's let, how, how he painted it, at least. But I'm like, but yeah. he needs to feel that. Yeah. You know? well, do you I, feel think, like I think they were just trying to squeeze made, a lot into two hours and 10 minutes. They're just trying I to squeeze understand. too much. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Also, I understand. what we don't get a lot of is uh, uh, in 88, James uh, is getting high on both marijuana and PCP. Yo, my and, man was uh, making that hybrid blunt. I see. That, that's the, that Cocoa Puff? Mm. Yo, that Cocoa Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was on that Ashy Larry. What they, what, what way Brady called it? That love boat? He was on that love boat. <laughs> I don't like to get wet, Dave. Nah, we're good. <laughs> James but, uh, likes to get wet. <laughs> but that's here, yeah, for real. For that scene, when he, when he pulls up, I don't know why, but I thought he was going to drive the truck into the building. I just kept waiting for him to do it. I don't know why. But he walks in with that big-ass sawed off and <laughs> scares the white chick to death. Well, I'm like, wow, that's... That's deep. That, that's that whole scene was deep. hilarious. Hilarious. So when, he, <laughs> when the police show up, and he breaks out. He gone. I, bro, I did not see the sport coming at all. I, but I Googled yeah. this shit. 
Yeah. This is a, this actually happened. I remember when it happened. This remember? It made the news. Happened. It made the news. I was like, oh shit. James Brown used to be like his. He had to, all his stars on GTA used to always be up. Uh, James, like, Brown, James, James <laughs> Brown was a real G. <laughs> like, funny. Um, and, and so um, when he comes back after, which I kind of wanted some more. Bro, you're at your rock bottom. You high on BCP. I guess he's not broke at the time, but you know you're high. He broke like one scene, and then the next scene he had money. I was like, yeah, oh, you like, still got who, money? Who, okay. It was like you're high. <laughs> who knows how long? Who knows how long you've been doing what you've been doing? You 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 would a gun bullet show. We do a, a, a car chase. I want to see him in jail. Like, bro, how's he feeling going through that nutty ass shit? You know? Yeah, because he's been in jail 20 minute. times he and only showed it at the beginning. He wiped, he wiped yeah. like all the sweat off his wig. He's like, damn, Brown, this ain't it. The same way I gotta be. <laughs> I need I, I needed some more like, damn, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really in this motherfucker. Like, again, you know? And so when he gets out- I'm watching this movie, I'm thinking he getting away and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm like- You just really I'm think out? Like, <laughs> yeah, Brown crossed the border and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jay Brown's Mexico now. <laughs> yeah, they only showed him in jail for a long time, only one time. I was like, right. I know this nigga been in and out. Oh yeah, most definitely. But but you know, when he comes back and now he's like he's like he's like a full James Brown form. Like, All right, cool. You look like James. Mm -hmm. Um, and he goes to see Bobby Bird, and Bobby's out outside like stress smoking, like <laughs> like stress smoking. And uh, and I hit oh I hit it Bobby's goatee. It was the most wild. <laughs> it was like they, wild. they had that same they had that same makeup like from life. Like, like when well, Martin and around and I'm like right here. But well, Martin like, Eddie got oh they had that life makeup on. I'm like, <laughs> I mean I get it. We age, but he said yeah. Why Eddie got some black? He had that taco meat goatee. <laughs> but, but why here though? Like that shit ain't even grow right. Like most niggas is like right here is white, black, but it's like black, 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 white. Or dirty. I mean you know that the grays didn't come in. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. He had that Uncle know. Drew shit going up. Yeah, like he's like you don't, you don't get to choose how it grow, man. I don't know. I don't get it, but whatever. It, it is what it is. But uh we had this back and forth with uh with uh Bobby and, and James. And James has a very funny way of apologizing. Like that was James' way of saying, "Yo, I fucked up." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was, it, it, it was a fucked up apology too. He was like, "Man, give me." You never said, "I'm sorry." You never said, "Oh, you know, what? No. I'm sorry, Bobby." But his mannerisms, how he's kind of like looking around and but also being like real like, "Listen, Bobby, like I'm still the shit." You know, I'm still the shit. Yeah. That was probably the best way he could accept I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it was a it was a it was a it was a flex. It was a flex move. Yeah, I got your sorry. It was a sorry. Like, I, I'm, I'm sure. I, I think Chadwick Boseman did a good job of like it was sometimes in a movie where I couldn't understand what he said, and he'd be talking quick. But I'm like James Brown talk like that. James Brown really be like, like talk like that. There be times where James <laughs> Brown ain't making no sense. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, huh? I YouTube what? some shit. I watched it last night. I YouTube some shit. Um, James Brown talking to the band. And when I tell you, he was on some mushroom shit for real. He was like, "Hey, the baby was just doing Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, well, well, please, please, miss. What's wrong with this nigga? You know what I'm saying? But that was James Brown. Like that's how we talk. Okay, the hell of a drug. <laughs> that's all you can say. I said the winning hell hand. Great. I was just like turning my volume up. I was like, "What? What do you say?" <laughs> it's bad. Like, it's like, all right, I catch like the next. The one. subtitles is like question marks. Like, I don't know what the next. Oh one. yeah, the subtitles was not saying what he was saying Yo, at all. I didn't even want to put the subtitles on because I didn't even want to fuck my TV up. I was like, my TV gonna get confused. But like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what he's saying to the truth. <laughs> oh man, um, I think the, the, the closing of this movie. He's performing. He's taking that moment in. He sees Bobby, and uh, Bobby, and uh, I, I can't think of, think of the chick. Is name. it Vicky? I think it's Vicky. Yeah, Ashley New Ellis, yeah. sister girl. So that's they're, my, they're, that's they're, my they're, they're they're vibing out, but they don't want to show that they're vibing out. 
She yeah. looks to him like, no, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're feeling. That's your man. It's almost like a weird bromance, if you will. Yeah. But you was there from the beginning. Like, you know, when, he, when motherfucker was singing in the prison. Like, yeah. you was yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? So Without Bobby Bird, there won't be no James Brown. Bobby Bobby put, put, brought him home. Absolutely. You know, so. so I, I thought that yeah. moment was real, real special. It was good. It was a good. It was a good moment. I didn't think that moment would actually close out the movie, but you know, it you out. know what? How would you have closed something like this out? Because we we know he was gonna die. We knew we were gonna get the credit roll. Like, damn, James Brown died, and you know we were gonna get all of that. But how would you have closed this out? Because once again, this movie had no format. Like this movie was just kind of jumping around. Had it been rated R, yeah. had it yeah. been rated R. I'll say this. James Brown, and this, and I, I, I looked this up to really confirm this shit. James Brown uh, died at his home. I think his wife and a few of his kids was there. Right. And he literally like took two to three like deep breaths, right? And, and said the words, I'm leaving here tonight. And then fell asleep. Of course, he died in the sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, to really have an impact on your closer, to, to really be like, to really get people to be like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? You use yeah. that, because number one, this is what actually happened, according to whoever gave the report. It's what actually happened. Like, James Brown knew his day was coming, takes three mm -hmm. deep breaths, says, I'm leaving here tonight, and dies in, in, in the middle of the sleep. After seeing all that wild shit of everything he's really, really been through and done, for that to be like the peaceful way of going out, that's how you hook him up. That's how you get that. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm yeah, saying? If you would have seen him on the bed sleep and heard them three breaths, and then he said that, and then you, it fade out and they give you the story, like yeah. that would have been kind of dope. That would have been dope. A lot, so of people, yeah. a lot of people don't like um, the Tupac movie with um, no. Atla no. No. no, no, hold on, but stop. Oh, we just, but hear, hear, me out. hear me out, hear me out. I didn't think it was a bad film. It's not the greatest film. Um, but I did like the way they did show him taking his last breaths. I did like that part of the movie when he got shot and he was dying on Cobalt. That's the part of Tupac that we traditionally did not get. And I felt like for that movie, that was the perfect way to close that movie out because we are watching Tupac take his last breaths. It is the end of the story. That's what we should have got, basically, what you just said for this. But cheeks. <laughs> I, di I didn't see. I didn't see the Tupac movie. I'm not. I'm not oh, I'm good. Not you didn't miss nothing. <laughs> Just listen to me, though. When you do see it, if you do happen to watch it, once again, <laughs> listen to me. No, oh, stop. No. <laughs> you know what? No. Never mind. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The technical aspect of All Eyes on Me is so bad. Oh, it's man. like, bro, Tupac died in '96. That hotel is not there. In 96. Don't be this guy. Stop. Don't be this guy. Look, I'm not that bro, scene. They didn't have, the bro, they didn't have, they didn't have iPhones in fucking 96, Duval. What are you talking about? Just that scene. You had an iPhone, bro. Just, just the scene of him taking Seven. his last breaths. Just the scene of him taking his last breaths. Yeah. You don't think artistically that was a creative way to end that film? Now you are insisting that the James Brown film ends the same way. That's what I'm trying to yeah. tell you. That's, that, that's, what made, so, that's, that's, what made, that's what made the movie better. That's what I hope to expect to get from uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. I want to feel for him. I want to feel that when when that moment comes, because you know it's coming. Oh yeah, so, and it sounds like that's Jay. what it's going to deal with. It's going to yeah. deal with his death for sure. Hey Jay, on that Tupac scene, did you see a nigga walk past with AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> so fucking I if I did, <laughs> if I did, fuck <laughs> Easy's on the shit. Talking six, about, nigga, hey, is that Tupac? <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody shoot Tupac? Like that bullshit. <laughs> like shit, bro. Like alive. George Sevens and shit. Like, no, yeah. that don't make sense. Why do you have those on? To reinforce what you said, though, if the movie would have gotten maybe forty more minutes, 
I don't know, maybe thirty million dollar movies. You can't buy more film. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the budget, but profits <laughs> or James Brown. No, we'll get back to James Brown. All eyes on me is gone now. If James Brown would have gotten the 40 minutes, maybe we would have got to see more of his wives and we could have got to see the wife that he died with. Like, we don't know who his wife was at that point. Joe Scott was the last wife that we've seen on the screen. Yeah, because technically in the movie, he only married twice. I think he's been married like six times. You feel me? And he had yeah, multiple yeah. wives. So, yeah. like, we, we didn't get that personal inside look that we deserved. And I think that movie would have probably impacted it a little bit more if we would have got a little bit deeper inside of his personal you i mean like the way it is it's like they would have had to not really get into the beginning the younger stages of his life as much and just focus on the career more right which it would have took a little bit from it but it gave you so much more as a like detail and you could have really gotten to those some of those stories i feel like the person that was in charge of this tried their hardest to kind of like i this shit fell in the dirt, so let's try to yeah. scrape some of the dirt off of this shit. Like they well, just, you know, bro, listen, like the they wanted to pay him homage as much as best as possible. Is, when you do a musical biopic, the worst yeah. thing that happens to your production is you don't get the rights to the fucking music. Number one, they had the rights. Yeah. You need, you, bro. If you don't have the rights, you, you 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 shouldn't do it. You just don't fucking yeah. do it. Like, yeah. um, if and when we actually get a Michael Jackson movie, which I'm sure is going to come eventually. Right. Michael Jackson? No idea. But just don't know. let it be Flex Alexander, and we'll be out. Right. Yeah, I was about to say that first one was. Why would you bring that up, bro? <laughs> the first one was awful, bro. Hey, the TV movie though was my jam. The the, right. the Jason Weaver joint. <laughs> I'm not riding. I'm not riding for that one. Either. The American Dream, the two night joint. That was it. Yeah, leave Mike alone, man. I'm not oh, riding with him again. That damn, <laughs> his hair caught on fire? They they got the pivotal scenes in that joint. The point of it all is, if you're going to do a biopic, you need to have the rights to whatever you're doing. You need to really take it there. Like, if, if right. you're doing a controversial figure that we that we as an audience know, no, that motherfucker there has done some shit. And I want to see yeah. this shit play out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't, don't. Don't just give me the mm, here's the cotton the cotton candy version for you. So we 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 got the Disney Plus version of James Brown's story. Is that what we going yeah. with? This? They played it safe. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, this is, bro, kids they watch this. Yeah, they played it yeah. safe in my opinion. In my yeah. opinion, yeah. even yeah. though some bro, of the PC some of the, the country scenes was like okay, this is this is edgy enough for for PG thirteen. Yeah. It's pretty edgy. They did it it, it. it it didn't go that hard. It didn't go as hard as it should have. He just did too much in his life to put into two hours. Like you can't. He just too right. much. Work. Shit. Absolutely. Too much. Absolutely. Well, that's good on up. Um, uh, I say for this movie at, at the age. No, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's get to some takeaways. Uh, Dwayne, as our hey, guest, Jay. yo, what up, Jay? Um, before you. All right. So I know, like we all know, Chadwick Boseman played an amazing role. Like the acting was phenomenal. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's no, but nobody had an issue with that. No, never. But do, like, I feel like they should have tried to find somebody who didn't look as good as Chadwick Boseman. Pause, I guess. But like, <laughs> I see what you mean. I see what like you James, mean. <laughs> James Brown, like, like when Chadwick Boseman is getting these bitches, like, I'd be like, yeah, he can really get that. <laughs> like, he can pull that. No, like, I don't even hesitate. But like, when I see James Brown with somebody, I'd be like, hell no. Like yeah. that dynamic was blind? funny to me. <laughs> Ray Charles could see nothing. He was looking at what he, he was judging of, of how of how good they 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 their wrist felt. So and he was the godfather of his soul, a, man. A real chunky wrist, like oh, you got hey. you, baby. Hey, That's Eddie Kane Jr. was pulling bad ones too. Eddie Kane. And Eddie Kane was on big drugs. <laughs> nice like this big drug, you know what I'm saying? You feel that's all I'm gonna say. I hope Michael Knight ain't watching this. <laughs> but, but to your point, though, to 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 your point, Dwayne, yeah. I will say this: given James Brown's looks, damn sure his character. How do you, <laughs> how do he match to a chick like? See what you said, huh? What you mean, huh? Yeah, like it's <laughs> never. <laughs> it wasn't the game because he can't. You don't know what he's saying. He already ugly, like. <laughs> he 
You may have some bars, bro. Like, oh, this man. Is you better just start dancing, nigga. You know, you know his, you know his <laughs> perms stink. <laughs> you know all oh, that shit. Oh, yeah, that shit was sweaty swirl. and hot. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just dance, nigga. Just get to the feet, footwork. That's all you need. I called you three times. Where the fuck was your hat? <laughs> So, so really, it was the footwork that they got me action. Let, let's say that it had to be the footwork and the bread. That's it. <laughs> my name is James. <laughs> what, my man said the footwork and yeah, the bread. Yeah, get on. Get that shit. <laughs> give them a get couple that. of them. They fall right in line. <laughs> the All right, so <laughs> takeaways. Uh, what was up with Dwayne? Dwayne, who's getting your that guy award? My what award? Your that guy award. That guy award. Um. He got to be the best friend, man. Just how he stayed loyal the whole time, bro. Like, or for as long as he could. Like, there was so many times where I'd have been like, "Oh fuck this nigga, he wild." As soon as he hit my sister, it would have been a wrap. And so you know, my sister, I'd been, yeah, I'd have been like, "Hey, bro, you gotta run that." Like, you my nigga, but <laughs> you gotta, you gotta run. run that. <laughs> this is on site. <laughs> you got to yeah, run. like just letting you know, so you don't, ain't no fake shit. Like, it's on site with you, nigga. <laughs> Concert, anything. I don't give a fuck. It's on site. <laughs> On stage, off stage, whatever you want it. We can do that shit. Yeah, no, nah, he's definitely uh, that guy for me. Uh, that chick award. That chick? Uh, mm, that chick, that chick. I go ahead and give it to Jill Scott. I just wanted to see her get butt naked, but she didn't. I had to keep it PG. Had it been rated R, we'd have seen some naked Jill. Yeah. Yo, I if this really was rated R, we would have got, really we would have at least got the silhouette. Give me that Jill Scott. Yeah, <laughs> like, Scott. <laughs> she really could have been that chick, but <laughs> I'll still give it to her. Well, that's all right. Uh, that fool award. That fool? Oh, James Brown. Man, it was a oh. fool. <laughs> it was all <laughs> the fool. What a movie. Bro, every, from the time he punched the nigga in jail, and no words. No words. Yo, can we talk about the hands that James Brown had in this movie? Oh, no. ridiculous. <laughs> <It> unmatched. <laughs> unmatched with the hands. Very bro. precision fighting. Like, bro, you Yo, my man had one. Body. When he was a kid, he had the one arm tied behind his back. He did one of yeah. these. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. He hit him with the three piece tonight. With the three piece. No twisted teeth. <laughs> <piece. laughs> Damn. All right. <laughs> with what? Right. Excuse me. Yeah, no, nah, definitely James Brown with that fool. Uh, okay. Cut that out. What, what what would you cut out? What would I cut out? Um, what part would I cut out? I don't know, because I want to add so much to it. I just want to add to it. I don't really want to cut nothing out. Use that. Use that. Uh, yeah, okay. I would rather add to it. Um. I would want to add the story probably just otherwise. Just let me see like him interacting with these women and how he going in and out of their life. And you know drugs was in that. Like there's no way you dip in and out of people's life without half of them you meeting through drugs and you shouldn't have been with this one. And just like that part of his life would have been kind of cool to add. Right. Uh, what about uh, Does It Hold Up? This movie is, uh, let me see, about six years old now, seven years old? Does It Hold yeah. Up? Um, I think it hold up just because if you don't know who James Brown is, it's a good like introductory. Like obviously there's a lot more information you have to find out. It made me go look at some information on them. So mm -hmm. it definitely like raised that interest. But um yeah, I'll say it hold up for sure. Uh and uh last iconic scene. Uh I, I already said it earlier when uh he was talking to Viola Davis and she tried to act proud of him. And he was mm -hmm. like, nah, don't call me a sugar. Don't call me a baby. Don't even don't come to the award or don't come to the Apollo. Like, he was just like on her head, like, nah, I tried. <laughs> it's a wrap. So mm -hmm. just having him. Like, bread, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, $100. Yeah. Yo, back That's then, that was a lot of money. You ignored me. <laughs> That's all you made when you ignored me, though. Yeah. $100. Shocked that he gave her the honey, to be honest with you. That was a lie. A hundred dollars is what made her turn her back on him. Yeah. And say she didn't know him. So take another honey and turn and it take again. Take that honey and keep on going. <laughs> like, I just felt like that hard. Like, it was like, hey, bro, now you feeling that pain that he had to feel on the years. Like, you got to eat that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Duval, who's going to get back in our 
Oh, that guy at work. Come on, man. We gotta get into King Chadwick, man. Uh, yeah. he, 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 he. Okay. I think it was the reason I'm gonna give it to Chadwick not because obviously it's his movie. Obviously, he's James Brown. I'm giving it to him because um, we got a chance to see James Brown through each era, every performance, every song, every situation that they that they chose to give us. I, Chadwick brought the heat every time, man. Every time he brought yeah, the heat, yeah. man. Um, I, I got to give it to him only because of what he brought to the role. And he he was committed. I did the behind the scenes. He got to learn the steps. He really put himself into yeah. it. You can see it. You can feel it. I like it. I love it. This is my favorite biopic Chadwick situation. I've seen him be Thurgood Marshall. I've seen him be Jackie Robinson. But to be honest with you, this is the one that connected, like, I I can tell you bodied this. I can tell you went yeah. in your all to be James Brown. So I'm going to give you that. Yeah. Uh, that chick was. Even how he had his mouth, like, he kept having his. Yep. Yeah, that, that word, like, like yeah. little gum shit. Like, yeah. He, yeah. He, he went for he it. That. He went for it. He went for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that chick um, little shit. That chick award. I'll give it to um, Viola Davis, and I'm gonna give it to Viola Davis, and she's not even in the movie that much. But yeah, like three scenes tops. It was very impactful. Yeah. The scenes that she's in, she's she's in some very oh. impactful scenes where it molds that character. It molds James Brown. Um, yeah. When the scene where Lenny Williams comes home and shit, you don't know if they're getting along. You don't know if they're fighting. You don't know what that that was going on at that moment. Obviously, that was an abusive relationship once again. But just that scene between those two, and he's just standing there like, what the fuck is going on? What is what this? What do I do? Yeah, like, what do I do now? Yeah. And he clearly can't do anything. You're a kid. You know, this is this is your reality. You live in a dirty country shack, and your parents is toxic, you know? I think yeah. Viola Davis, once again, well played. And I, and I do believe she loved him. She did oh. love her son. She didn't want to have him, but she did love her son. She chose him. When, but when it, when she had enough, it was time. And I do truly believe she would have probably took him if she if Lenny Williams didn't shoot at her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shot at her on the way out. <laughs> she said, well, okay, I got yeah. to go. Little nigga, I will catch up with you later. <laughs> so right. Like a straight G, can't walk like that shot like... You ain't shooting at me, nigga. Yeah. It keeps walking like yeah. that. That was some. That's some. That's some crazy acting. That yo, like the way he yoked her up. Like man, Lenny Williams. He wasn't there that long, but he, I felt his character. I felt every minute of it. Who's getting your uh, that fool award? That fool award. Hmm. Craig Robinson, man. <laughs> I don't know. He was challenging James Brown way too much for me. <laughs> he was Is too. You know he was too opinionated okay. for me. Like, not in a bad way, just, you know, you, we need that one dude that just has to challenge the system. He, I mean, he, hey, bro, he, he wanted his money, bro. I mean, listen, like, we doing all these games, like, you want us yeah, rehearsing yeah. on our chill day. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, even yeah. I wasn't even surprised when he said, yo, I'm going to be the spokesman <laughs> for the group. <laughs> like, right, yeah. We all need one. Who else would it be? <laughs> Nobody. We all need one. one. Nigga, nah, I got he it. he start, his opening scene. He was complaining when they were on the plane, gonna go do Vietnam or whatever the fuck they were gonna go to. I want to play with this nigga and <laughs> she's being shot in the sky, bro. Where's my money? <laughs> I feel bro on this. You know, what I'm like I'm down with you. I ain't talking about this shit outside shit though. Like they like. They shot a plane down, bro. Yeah. No, First no. Honestly, off, honestly, like, where's the bread? Honestly, it was Where a time. <laughs> it was a time between Craig Robinson and um the the first ahead of the music um scene that they were doing. Dan Aykroyd was dealing with that dude the most. The guy that tried to do the cab um uh, the cabbage patch and all that other shit. Not the cabbage patch, the mashed potato oh, and yeah. all that shit. Yeah, that dude oh, was criminally ass. racist, criminally terrible. Yeah. Like. He said, he the, out of here. the music, listen, listen. Like, yeah, that dude was a fool for, for real. Like, but he's the quintessential yeah. music mogul dude. You know what I'm saying? They all like that yeah. in all the movies. Like, this ain't music. They ain't nothing but some jigaboos making making noise type shit. Like he Yeah, just a sleaze ball, like sleaze ball type core. shit. That's why I was so glad that Dan Aykroyd 
um, chose up the way he ended up choosing up. Like, nah, I believe yeah. in James. Me and James, we're gonna make this bread, and we're gonna make we're gonna do right by each other. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love yeah. Jan, Jan Aykroyd's character in that one. I like Bart Bart's character. Yeah. What about yeah. Uh, cut that out? Cut that out. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. The fact that this didn't have that many James Brown demons. I didn't need to see him smack Joe, Joe Scott to know that he was a scumbag. I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see it. It, 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 it. it did nothing for the movie, to be honest with you. Yeah, I get that. Because uh, it was alluding, up. it did kind of allude that he is abusive. It alluded something, and maybe he was abusive with his other wives, but to do nothing with that after, it's pointless. Yeah. Because he could have been like, hey, he's he been slapping bitches this whole time. Like, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. And what he do? And you know. she didn't even yeah. deserve this snack. It was just too, it was too much for me. It was like, oh, we, we, yeah. we didn't need to go there you with think that. They were Sir Slaps. Yeah, we, we know what's going on. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm-hmm. I feel like they put it in just to like, yeah, to say like, oh, he does slap bitches. Like, they didn't want yeah. him to say he, yeah. like, he don't do it at all. Yeah, they, they, went, they, they wanted to slap. say he had demons, but yeah. out of all the demons that you showed, hmm. That one was whack. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put that in the movie. Yeah, right. let's hold it up. Yeah, it holds up good for a biopic, a musical biopic, because the performances are raw. Like they, like you could feel the sweat coming off him. Like you, you could he he performing, performing. He doing splits. He's doing all them shit. <laughs> like yeah. I like this movie. Like trust me, I like this movie. It's a good movie, and I'll watch it again. I got no problem watching the film. I can't change what they made like trust me i wish i could call somebody and be like yo tate taylor why the fuck did you make this happen before this happened but other than that though i've seen worse biopics this doesn't feel like something that could have came on television it doesn't feel like something that could have came on lifetime it, it's a it's a it's above all of that it's something that could have came yeah. on hbo though i feel like it's like premium cable could have made this and it would have been yeah. just one of them premium cable biopic movies that we could just go back and revisit if we need to get, hey, that was a good James Brown movie. You know what? Put it on. Let's watch it. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, uh, Iconic Scene. Iconic. Ooh. I like, um, I got a couple scenes that I really, really enjoy, but the one scene that I really, really, really loved was... Um, Man's World, the performance, and him obviously, you know, making the eye contact with Jill in, Jill in the crowd and having the other honey dip next to him. That was probably one of the yeah. better performances. And it segued into obviously where we were going to go for the rest of the film. Like, obviously, Jill Scott being married. And then one of the old shorties coming up, like, hey, you need anything? She's like, I'm making a list now. You missed Niggy, did you just buy a whole plane? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fitting to get this money. I like I like the progression at that point of the movie because James Brown was a full James Brown. Like he had his groove going on, he had the band, he had everything. It was tight. I like I like that scene. That scene was good. And it was a musical performance. So like that's what really made me like the movie a lot anyway. I like the musical performances in them. But yeah, definitely. For me, uh my bad guy is gonna be uh James Brown, you know what I'm saying? I, obviously, yeah. he isn't perfect, what man in, in this world is. Mm. Uh, but really, it's about Chadwick's performance, I would say. Um, like I said, in the 42 yeah. review, you could tell with 42, he was still kind of getting his feet wet. Get On Nut was like, yo, my man's got something. He's got something strong. And he, he, mm. it's, really, it's really only uphill from there. Like, the way he, he, what he was given for this role and what he was able to bring to the screen was like, okay, cool. Like, so you, you really you really gave us what you could based off the material that you were giving. But right. damn, he killed yeah. I mean, he killed that shit. Yeah. Fucking footwork, man. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. uh, that chick award, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give to uh, Jill Scott because, oh shit, I, I always watched what we saw. She was bad. She was bad. She was bad. We didn't, we didn't see the other ones, but she was bad. But the one the one we did see before that one. <laughs> she, <laughs> That's what I said. That's Jim joint. When, when he <laughs> said goodbye to her, he, I was like, you, ain't gotta, you ain't gotta come back home, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she was bad, but I get it. Wait, you picked I her 
Oh, you picked her over Bobby's sister? I would have picked Bobby's sister. I would have married that. <laughs> yeah, like, you, know, you, you have Bobby's sister, and then you had this yeah. juke joint, juke joint, joint. Yeah. You got a record deal. What you yeah. So like, yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, right, James cool. Brown, James Brown, dude, he was he was a rolling stone, huh? He was out there just knocking them down, huh? My That That's Fool crazy. Award will go to, I can't think of the character's name, but I'm a black player, right? Now, it's the first time the, the band said, fuck you, James, I'm out. They, that was the first time he got the deal. When they were no longer the mm-hmm. Flaming Lips or the Flaming Flames, whatever the fuck they were going, before they became James Brown and them. <laughs> so um, <laughs> the first dude, Try, try, try to size up Jamie be like on some like what well, this is what it is. I never liked you anyway, James. And he walked out <laughs> and the whole Yeah, that was the, the that was probably one of the best walkouts. <laughs> and we got a chance to, to do a cut back to that particular character. Like, what are you doing nowadays? <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> he, so, the, you talking about the one he was kind of big, right? Yeah. The dark skinned dude. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Said, he, I, I never yeah. liked you anyway. Oh, so it's really fucking me then. All right, all right, bet. And Yo, but a lot of them had some extra bass in their voice. Remember the other walkout when he said, man, fuck you. I'm not. <laughs> what? Man, fuck you, man. They're the the right? they hitting him with the disc. Yeah. <laughs> man, man just, fuck you, James. Get this <laughs> fucking disc out my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, so um, we are now at, um, does it hold up? Yes, it does hold up. I feel like uh, July 42, it has the rewatchability, whether you love the movie or not, you may not put it on every time, but if it's on, you'll watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like Get On Up yeah. is as uh, uh, strong of a biopic as Ray, Selena. Mm. You know it's what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Rocket whoa, Man. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What was up? Is Selena the one uh, that well, says, that's where we stopped the ball? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, I am about to say, I don't know. No, Ray and Selena, I think this was like a little bit below them two. They, like they, it is, that. it is, it is. And Selena, Selena, I think they did more with Selena. They were able to do more with that one. You well, you know what, I'll tell you what. What's it, La Bamba? Oh, and La Bamba too, but I'll tell you what. Let, 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 me, let me rephrase. The portrayal of sort uh, of the actual... I, we're talking portrayals. Like the movie yeah. itself. Yeah. The, of, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Chadwick did what he had to do with what he had. You know what I'm saying? So for oh, me, yeah, well, Wait, okay. So I got a question: Did this get any type of nominations, any awards whatsoever? I'd have to look it up. I'm gonna say no, but okay. Yeah, part of the NAACP or some shit. <laughs> he definitely got a BT award. BT award, or something, you know. But you know, a TV one award. Oh, man. <laughs> we were still threw, threw it to him. Yeah, Coming yeah, to the yeah, stage to receive his bounce yeah. award. Oh, Chadwick's yeah. not here? No, ain't nobody at this. So Spike TV or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you, you know, it, it, it was what it was. Uh, iconic scene. Uh, my iconic scene would be... Uh, I'm going to say the, uh, the Boston Garden um, mm-hmm. performance in which he had to kind of put his folks in check. I like that scene. And, you know, kind of, kind of get things under control, because because yeah. Johnny Law was definitely ready to, to sit, let them dogs loose. Yeah, uh, they had right. the Rottweilers out. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. he, he had to really calm them down. So for that, I appreciate. And it kind of showed, like, especially for me, like, with what with, what, with what's going on nowadays, right? I love seeing that that moment of black pride. You know what I'm saying? Like, really like, yo, I, I'm, I'm proud to be a black man. You know what I'm saying? It just, no matter what we go through, there's always that, that you know, that moment in time when we will not even here yet, but wild shit was happening in, in the streets. Like, I can walk down the yeah. street right now and mad dog a white dude. And that's basically, yeah, you'll do somebody? I, 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 I bet you won't. And I keep moving. Back in the day, yeah. the hey, nigger! Yeah. You gotta eat that. You gotta eat that, unless you're born yeah. up to go beat his ass. But then, which that jail <laughs> sentence is coming, and they do a positive percent of soup. So, beating up a white dude was giving me like life. So, you said I, you'd be lucky if you made it to a jail cell. So. You definitely be yeah, lucky. Yeah, you made that for it. Yeah, so you so. get your ass shot. I got two things that I want to say before you. I know you're about to wrap it up. Um, I oh, never got a chance. Quick next, go ahead. Huh? We got quick hits next, but go ahead. You good? Oh, okay. Got you. Um. 
the little Richard that they picked for this one was good. I liked him. You know who that was? That was who was that? Remember Gridiron Gang with the Rock? Yes. That was that? Cool Gridiron Gang. Got you. Okay. He I looked familiar. Really I don't even I don't notice. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know when they all in a, and, and he looked like a little Richard, and I liked the gems that he was dropping on them while they were right in front of the fast food restaurant. Like he was telling them, like, I'm gonna put you up on game. You know what I'm saying? So I, I actually like that scene. That scene was really good. And last but not least, Allison Janney's punk ass. How come Allison Janney always playing some racist white bitch? I, I never get that. Like, why? Why? That's how she feel. Yeah. That's how she feel in real life. <laughs> like, I don't get it. <laughs> And this this dude directed the help, so I'm like, you you. She was the same character in that. Like, <laughs> it was genuine. Yeah. Like you, I, we paid all this money to stand in a hotel full of nigga entertainers. Meanwhile, two scenes later, she's shaking her ass to <laughs> the <laughs> same nigga song that she was hating on before. Terrible, just terrible. Yeah. All right, yeah. so uh, some quick hits, real quick. Uh, quick hit number one: Chadwick Boseman did all of his own dancing in this. Movie. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Don't they yeah. seem too, too crisp, you know what I'm down. saying? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Dan Aykroyd and the real James Brown appeared together in the Blues Brothers, Dr. Detroit, the Super Bowl halftime mm -hmm. show, and Blues Brothers 2000 in 1998, which, by the way, is mad slept on. Blues, Blues Brothers 2000 is so dope. Get up out of here, man. Let's get up out of here. Never watched shit. it. Trash. Never watched it. And you <laughs> so when you finally break something to the table, I can finally tell you, but she's Blues Brothers 2000 is for you. You told me all I was in was Oscar Brothers, bro. Like, no, the fuck I did not. That's not where I went with that. <laughs> all I'm saying is, Go. Blues Brothers 2000 is trash. Like, stop. Stop that. Your trip. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, Spike Lee was lined up to direct, but music contractual issues held up the production, and he had to leave to honor other commitments. Imagine if Spike Lee would have directed Spike this. Spike Lee directed James. That would have been rated R for sure. Oh, that's that's what well, that's hard. That's hard R. Because you know Spike Spike loves titties and. <laughs> My point. Spike would have had fucking in every titties. scene. <laughs> Spike would have got the titties up out of Jill Scott. Spike would have oh, shown yeah. babies be born. Y'all like, damn, we get to see the birth the birth canals and everything in this. <laughs> Uh, this is Arjuna Ellis's third film based on a real life musician. So that yeah, she's in Ray, right? This is James Brown, Ray. Mm -hmm. What's the third one? Um, is she in Cadillac Records? No, she's um, he's in something else, dude. I've seen her in something, something else. real black, some real, real, real black. She, she's there. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. She's there. <laughs> Uh, James Brown was five foot five, while Chadwick Boseman was six inches. I'm sorry, six feet. Really? Yeah. You know James what? So he was he short. Was he was short. He couldn't talk. He was ugly. <laughs> like <laughs> How he, he got a lot play? of bitches. He got a lot of bitches for what he was born with. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lady, <laughs> lady. Oh, Anjanu Ellis is in the Clark Sisters. Is what's that? On oh, Lifetime? Oh. This did not make a film. This did not hit the theaters, dude. That had to be a Lifetime joint for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, the Clark Sisters. That's great. <laughs> yeah, you look so happy. Like, wait, Clark Sisters. That's, a, that's incredible. Right. That's what's up, but I ain't seen it coming, but uh, whatever. Congrats. And lastly, I don't know. <laughs> lastly, Chadwick Boy's been trained for two months to learn how to sing and dance properly like the Godfather of the Soul, James Brown. And that is the quick hits for this movie. And that wraps up, get on up, a James Brown story. Uh, last question for Dwayne. Uh, overall, what is your takeaway from this film, uh, watching uh, the great Chadwick Boseman take on James Brown? Your overall takeaway for this movie? Uh, overall take all, take away from it is all the acting was incredible. Like any problem I had with the film, came from like the directing or the way they cut it up or what they left out. But like the actual acting, flawless. Like I don't have not one complaint about any actor or actress that was in the film. Well, so about what you got? Same. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with them. Um I really enjoyed um some of the heavier scenes. There's some there's some emotional scenes in this. Um 
other than that, it seems well acted all around. The cast is amazing. It, it was a really good mm-hmm. cast, um, especially uh, even Black Thought was in this. Like, like they they really mm-hmm. had a good cast. Um, the I guess my only gripes would be just certain decisions that went with the story flow. That's all. It, it's it's distracting, but it wasn't distracting to make me go. This is a terrible film. It's it's not. No. It was already on my list as a, a better biopic. Um, that he has done so it's in my it's in my tops for for Chadwick's movies it's definitely in my tops he deserves it it's it's a, it's a good movie it, it definitely deserves to be watched at least once or twice no well that's the show I want to thank my, my guy Dwayne Walker of the Moni podcast let them know where they can find you bro let them know where they can find the show um you can find us on IG at M-O-N-Y podcast Make it real easy. Just put it in there. Um, pause. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, that's that's where you can find a podcast at. And if you want to hit me up individually, Waniac211. So, yeah. All right. Duval, where can I find you, bro? Um, y'all already know where I'm at. <laughs> it's not hard to find me. Um, B Network all day. Anything B Network related, I'm there. Uh, back to the classics, of course. Uh, Cinema Rehab, which is my new show that I do with Selena. Uh, we have another episode coming up soon for you guys. Um, we're going to be tackling some new content. No, um, that's pretty much it. You know, all the links are below. You know where to find me, guys. D- BKLV Negrito at Instagram and, you know, Deval Brown on Facebook if you just want to get personal with me but please by all means come to the back to the classics page on facebook man we having some really good conversations and i like having the conversations with you guys yo it's 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 really refreshing and we just like reached like a thousand members congrats congrats yeah man we happy about it we try to get to two thousand hopefully you know when all of this is done by this month (laughs) we're working we're definitely working you can find me on all the social medias uh, at official J Alonzo on Instagram and then J Alonzo on Facebook and J Dash Alonzo on Snapchat and I don't tweet so fuck it. Uh, also, I don't tweet either. I don't. I, I don't. I want to tweet. I do, but I'm so. I don't have to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. right. Sky Blue trending. Tweet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dog won't stop barking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's happening. That so, uh, but of course, the yeah, Best of Classes Facebook page. Is up and popping. Jump on in there, join the conversation. Duval's always dropping shit on an yeah. hourly basis. I need to. I, I'm gonna calm down. I promise y'all. <laughs> it's all right. I'll be good. Good combos though. Good combos. It's great combos. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, turn my mic up. It's back uh, every damn every Wednesday. I don't know. My favorite. We're recording get that shit out. Uh, of course, uh, like I said, we have the uh, script, officially a copy from Warner Brothers to watch uh, Judas and Black Messiah on Wednesday. So the, the uh, review may jump on Thursday. Look out for that. And Looking course, forward to uh, it. I'm there for that. Uh, big lows on the show next week for Marshall to continue the Black History Month artist showcase honoring the late great Chadwick Boseman. Oh, I'm getting tongue tied. I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's a lot of Chadwick going on, man. So it's, a lot it's, of Chadwick going on. But like I said, thank you for rocking with us. We'll see you all next week. I am Jay Alonzo. Y'all be easy. Peace. Peace out, guys.